holiday, right? Huh? Holiday? Yes. yes. Wow. Rich people, eh? I come here, I have to pay and I have to work, and you come here, holiday. <laughs> yeah? Even I come here, you know, I have to have registered and pay. If registered, must pay, and then have to work now. I work for the hotel, and then I work for you, and you come here just holiday, huh? What kind of word is this? Good that you came. You meditate all day, right? Didn't eat? Yes. yes. You did? Yes. They told me you didn't. Yes. You have? How did you eat? They cook for you? Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oof. I don't know, did I have any lunch ready or dinner or anything? Probably have, huh? Did you see my lunch somewhere? Or dinner? Or breakfast? I mean, did you see him downstairs? Yes. Where is it? On the table? Uh, for the morning lunch. The morning lunch is on the table. And then? Is dinner also there? Uh, we didn't watch anymore because we have our dinners. Oh, <laughs> of course you don't care. <laughs> You don't care about me, do you, huh? Mm. As long as you have your breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you don't care if my mom has anything at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, typical, eh? Yeah. Anyway, you often come here like this? Yeah? Usually once a month. Once a month? What do you do now, Clement? No job? No job? Every time I ask you, no job, what a life. <laughs> I'd be happy to have a job like you have, no job, you know. <laughs> and you, what do you do? Oh. Handsome man? <laughs> oh, I am an old man, pension. What do you mean, pension? Pension. You look so young, what pension? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really? No work? Oh, no. So what do you do? Oh, retired. Oh. I meditate a little more. <laughs> yeah. Very cool, very cool. Mm. And Clement also meditate a little more, right? Have any new girlfriend? No new girlfriend. No, the same one, and she quit you all this time and no more? <laughs> I forgot which one is your girlfriend. Is she here? Oh, what, what, what's it with your hair now? I just cut it. New, new, new style, huh? New style. Feel cooler, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I wish I could. I wish I could. Much more simple, eh? Hmm. Your hair is almost, you know, simple, like... <laughs> yeah, my God, your hair is getting very gray now. I don't remember this last time I saw you. Before it was blacker, right? Yes. Just a few I'm, years? I'm a wise man. Yeah. <laughs> Just a few years and you got so much wiser, huh? <laughs> Pretty cool. And you, you meditate a lot. You look good. Okay. So, just come here and meditate for how many days? Two days? For how long we can stay? What do you mean? <laughs> You're not working? Uh, now, holiday and Monday. Monday working and then two days holiday. Monday working and two more two days? Months. Oh, wow, that's a long holiday. So you can just keep Monday and say, sorry, I am, <laughs> you know. Mostly people say they have headache or something. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's cool, eh? So all this is Slovenia, huh? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Maybe you have nothing to do. Come here, take care of my hotel when I'm not here. I'm sure. going soon anyway. <laughs> huh? Take care of the time. He has the time. Yeah. And place for me, Yeah, yeah, even have sit here all day with all yourself. Nobody here. <laughs> okay, because uh, the, um, the Taiwanese who have a lot, but they cannot work here, you know? They have to apply for work permit, and sometimes they don't get it. Very difficult. So the uh, new neighbors should come here and work here, if you want, huh? At the moment, we have enough people anyway, but if you want to, you can, eh? Okay? Mm. By the way, I still have to pay for you even if you come here to work. <laughs> yeah, we have to register them and kind of pay tax or insurance or whatever. Wow, so strict, huh? 
I didn't know the word is this, <laughs> this strict, I didn't know anything. Mostly I'm not a businesswoman, you know. I'm just a poet, yeah, designer, painter maybe, musician, singer, you know, when my dogs want to sleep. But <laughs> now we're going to do the business because we want to, to share with the world, you know, the news and the good way to save our planet. And now we have so much work, everybody is so busy, busy. At the moment, we don't have Supreme Master Television. Otherwise, I would have more, much more work to do, eh? Yeah. Yeah, Supreme Master TV is a big load for me. Yeah, I could have died <laughs> for sleepless nights and, you know, troubled days and running around while working. It was really very stressful. So now it's not there anymore. God. It's good. <laughs> I'm small, but I'm not that small. It's so tight here. Yeah, I like his face a little bit, you know, especially on a chair. Now, you, do you want me to do anything for you? Or just come here by chance, have a look at me? I mean, you didn't know I'm here, do you? Inside no. me. You knew? But we didn't. No. No. No? no. You know? Yeah, I heard you over the telephone. You, you heard me, you eavesdrop on my phone? Who? It was just an accident. Oh, uh, yeah. Beno, he didn't. Who? Brother Beno, he didn't shut the phone. He didn't shut the phone yeah. off. He, so he, he put did. it on loud, right? No. Yeah, you were with him? What were you guys doing together? <laughs> <laughs> huh? What? You don't have a restaurant today? Tomorrow? No, no, uh, holiday. Today, tomorrow, yeah. Two days you shut? No, one day. One day? Today? And tomorrow you go back to work? Another guy, and I work Monday. Oh, other guys. Okay, okay. Wow, you have so many guys, huh? And I have nobody. Is that not fair, huh? Terrible. You know, doing the job that I do, modeling clothes and all kind of stuff, normally people need a makeup artist, you know, a director. Tell me how to sit, how to talk, where, when I walk out, how to make up, what kind of hair do today, what kind of dress to wear today, what kind of shoes and all that, you know what I mean? And I, didn't, I have not nobody, I do everything myself. Now I just put my feet on here just to show you that I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I put it back down. <laughs> Lady, don't do such thing, right? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if, if I'm still a lady or not <laughs> anymore. <laughs> you know, when a woman works so much, she has so much stress, and she has this kind of man hormone, I heard it, and it's no good for her. <laughs> it make her very agitated and uh, not very peaceful. You know what I mean? And men, when they have stress, they feel even better because they had more of this kind of other testosterone or something like that. Something, some, some terror, something terror, <laughs> terrible, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Know, don't be surprised if one day I grow bare all over, mustache or whatever. I don't like him, never shaved or. Oh. <laughs> so much of the whatever. This is ter terrible, terrible, terrible. <laughs> yeah. And it's funny, you know, we, we were okay. I, I've been here a few days already and we were very fine. Every day we had food and make jokes and watch, you know, TV and uh, together. Uh, no problem. And then you came. Everything went wrong. Oh, my God. Everybody that's supposed to be okay with me these days, today nobody okay. Whatever they could do wrong, they did it all wrong. You understand me? Suddenly everybody went like goo goo. Eh? Normally it's okay, I don't know why. It must be him, the two of you, huh? Brought something bad here. Yeah. Normally we get on okay and we understood each other very well. They don't spill any secret today, every secret out <laughs> on the phone. You understand? Uh, lucky we're not doing anything bad. I was just feeling peaceful for a few days and then suddenly everything. 
But you're supposed to be saintly people. You're supposed to bring blessing to this hotel. So I don't understand why everything went wrong. Hmm? It must be your fault, huh, Clement? Yeah, who else? <laughs> Otherwise him, right? Oh, it's her, eh? <laughs> Poof. And you've been very, very good kids already. You're almost like the best already, you know, I mean, one of the best group of people. Hmm. Normally these are the regular group that came here all the time? Or today some more people or less? A little more. A little more. A little more. Why a little more? Good. You tell them because that... Because Master inside ah. push us. Maybe so Ben or outside tell you, come, this time special. <laughs> right, Ben or outside? I said to one girl, but I didn't tell that you were here. I just say you should come. Ah, oh, yeah, they know it. Huh? Yes. They're pretty smart people, you know? <laughs> Which girl? Your girlfriend, right? No, no, no. She never saw you. Ah, that's why. Okay, okay. So are you disappointed? No, huh? Yeah, I look like you. Huh? Yeah, we have both blonde hair, you know. My, my is a little fake, but who knows? Nobody knows. <laughs> I did it well. You know, I even have to dye my hair myself. I'm cheap. <laughs> I do my nails myself, my hair myself, makeup myself, design my own my clothes myself, wear the clothes myself. <laughs> Yeah, normally sometimes, you know, in this kind of job, uh, sometimes you need it quick, you need somebody to even help you to zip up and uh, to, to ring down and everything. I have nobody, really. Mostly I don't. I mean, 100% don't, not mostly, but <laughs> all the time don't have anyone. Sometimes the zip stuck, you know, <laughs> and then it gets stuck in the middle, it doesn't come up. Maybe I'm too fat or something, or it doesn't work. Yeah. I, at that time, I wish I had somebody, you know, I mean, a little bit. You can get on well with you, yeah? yes. I wish somebody that helped me a little bit sometimes when I'm in a hurry, yes. It's, it's easy when somebody's there, yes. But I can't bear anybody around too long. Mostly before, before, <laughs> before I see you, they already mess me up the whole day already, so I don't really want to see them, I don't want to talk to them anymore. Do you understand me? So when I really need somebody, I, I, I don't even want to call. That is a problem, yes. I wish I have a brother, though, you know. Oh, you know, they handle stress better than sister, eh? <laughs> sister is sometimes sibling rival, you know, yes. If I'm prettier than her, maybe she doesn't like it. <laughs> I don't think she wants to help me to be all loved and famous and glorious while she's having to zip up for me and <laughs> nothing else. It's, it's, it's very complicated, this worry. Mm. Besides my sisters, one is uh, pretty old now and have to work with a cane already, and one is uh, having family, three, four kids already. Brother is better, huh? But my mother didn't produce any. <laughs> ah, yeah, I remember a long time ago I had a girlfriend, a friend girl, eh? <laughs> Not a girlfriend, girlfriend, huh? Sorry, huh? No, huh? <laughs> uh, she has a boyfriend, and this guy is really, really good. He's almost like a woman, it's just that he's a real man. He helps her to with the ring, he chews it quick and put it on, zip it up and, uh, you know, uh, help her around very quick when she needs to go out to perform or do something. Wow. <laughs> I wish I had that kind of man around. <laughs> yeah, he's really, really good. My God, I never saw one like this. I mean, not even woman. He was really good. And I say, how did, how, how did you know all these things, you know, how you help the woman and so fast? He helped to do the, the bracelet, because that's the difficult part, you know? Sometimes the, some bracelets is very difficult. You keep hooking it and it keeps slipping away. And <laughs> yeah, that, that is the, the most difficult for me, to, to hook up the, the, the bracelets. Some of them had, like, you know, you have to hook it. Some you can just clip it quick, that's easy, but some, why? Well, I have only myself to blame. I designed it. <laughs> but. but <laughs> 
but I can't just design all the bracelet the same of club and you know what I mean. Besides, other women they have their sister, their girlfriend, or husband or boyfriend to help them. So it's, it doesn't matter what hook they have, you know. I am the the one who have trouble. So most of the time, if if I'm working in a group meditation or something, then. Uh, they are all busy also anyway. Oh never mind, forget about that. You tell me something. I'm so boring, I'm talking to myself all day. <laughs> tell me your stuff. Oh yeah, I asked that guy why is he so good with women, you know, helping women so fast and he just seemed to know what. You know, she didn't have to tell him nothing. And they were newly also known and not like long long years of, of friendship or anything. He just got it quick. So I asked him, how, how did you do that? Where did you learn all this? He said he used to help his mother. <laughs> yeah, blessed mother, eh? His mother passed away already, and he has become a good boy, mm. really good. So I wish all the mother would train the boy to be a good husband, to be, and to be very, that would be very helpful to the wife and good for the relationship. Nah? Because if the wife is happy, then the relationship is happy, right? Let's face it, it's the woman who decides <laughs> who decide how happy the relationship can go, right? <laughs> Why are you laughing at? I am not wrong? No, you're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that guy will make her happy. You know, a long time I haven't seen him or her, so I don't know. Any of you are good like that? With your wife? <laughs> I don't have my wife, no more. No more wife? I broke. Broke? Yes. You mean divorced? Yes. Okay, fine. Congrats. Yes. You? I try to be. You try to be as good? And because she's happy? Master, yeah. if I have possibly so said, the China uh, people said, if the lady go on if of your life now, nah, it's good because after become the, the better, better lady. You are no capish. Yeah, my English is not this really good, but you you are so, yes. Slovenian, huh? Somebody translate. You speak Slovenian. Somebody will translate. Slovenian. 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 If the lady goes out of your life, you need to be grateful because some better lady will come in. Oh, you hope. <laughs> I hope. I hope not. <laughs> Is that the saying in Slovenia? Uh, no, China. The, the, China, China. the China people say that. He said the China people say this. Because China people know this. Uh, really? I never heard of that. <laughs> <laughs> we talk in Slovenia. Ah, okay. Maybe a special Chinese, yes. Yes. Mm. Special Chinese people tell him. I know just no, normal Chinese. No, the Chinese don't know that he is Oh, He said, no, 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 Chinese must know because it's a lot of China people, so they must know. Really? Yes, because... I'm a boy, so I'm a Okay. <laughs> Did you hear about that, Sudo? They say like that? No. <laughs> He's Chinese, <laughs> and he's a man too. And yes, that frost should be a man's, uh, you know, uh, uh, like talisman or something, because it's good. Yeah. That. yeah. <laughs> yeah? It's, if it's in one relation, don't uh, we have the love now? Uh, it's maybe the best that we go uh, divorce now. Ah, okay. It's be better be together in the love. Or okay. Yes, it's good. Ah, you must know better. I forgot already what it's like. <laughs> Long time. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. But I never heard Chinese say anything like this, so it's okay. Maybe maybe special Chinese people. I meet yes. only ordinary Chinese people. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's a new, new invention. <laughs> yeah. Good, good, good. How about you? Oh, I'm married. Where is she? Oh, it's mm -hmm. Is she okay with you? Did you help her a lot? What's that? Uh, I always have trouble with uh, helping my ladies. Uh -huh. Yes, whenever I want to go to the something, to the retreats or something like this. Ah, uh, have trouble. 
She's so jealous. Okay, why, why don't she come with you? <sighs> She's initiated, but she doesn't practice. Oh, well, that's, that says everything. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm oh. sorry too. Yeah. <laughs> you call and tell her I'm here, maybe she comes. No, huh? <laughs> Even worse, I say, go back home now! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing over there? It's already three hours. Come back, quick. <laughs> Need shopping. <laughs> uh, yes, if you don't meditate, then you do not derive uh, enough benefit, and then you will not understand why people <laughs> continue meditating. I'm so sorry about that. Why does she feel jealous, huh? She should come then. Tell her if she's jealous, she should come and control you, you know? Watch. Watch over you. If because you leave him alone like this, you God knows what happened. <laughs> no, but she's uh, also jealous if I, uh, for instance, if I meditate over the night. Oh, I see. It's you. Go come in in, in bed now. <laughs> Why are you sitting there all the night long? And so? Doesn't she know meditation is good? After all this television saying that meditation yeah. good for the world and all that, still don't change? She goes to the church and... It's good. That's enough. Of, okay. That's the limit. Okay, then tell her, you go to the church, I go to the group. Yeah. Each one has a different church, right? <laughs> yeah, that's something like this. Oh, I'm so sorry. And you're still such a good man. So patient you are. I admire you very much. Uh, yeah, maybe it's your test, eh? <laughs> yes. But it's, it's also good. So she keep me uh, a little that I don't go to the to the hell and immediately. Oh, I see. You still want to hang around here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's better. Yeah. Uh, it's better. Yes. Better here. Better here when you are here. Oh, darling. <laughs> You will see me up there when you go up there, oh, now even. Oh, I know. Now why, why didn't you just go? Because I'm everywhere, tell you that secret. Even you go up there, you see me also, okay? Different bodies, huh? Mm. Phew. Now I'm even more than everywhere than before, because my level is very, very high now. So I can string the whole universe not just five, six, ten levels, and one thousand plus level now. So that means. Well, I told you before, right? No. About that, no. No? No. 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 I told you before. Like this, I can, I can just be everywhere. <laughs> Understand? Well, I told you in in center, no? Somehow I did. Tell tell me what Last I told. I know. Tell me what I told you. <laughs> I remember that you told us uh, that uh, being that high um, gives you the ability to be more connected to everything in the universe and feel more into everything in the universe. Mm, I think something more than that. I don't know, maybe. Never mind. You go watch the first tape or something. Okay? Yeah, I hope we get it soon. Yeah, I'm sure I get it soon. Yes. You keep asking, huh? When is it come out? I say many things that uh, I don't want to repeat. And yeah. At that moment, it seems okay. Now I keep repeating. It's not the same anymore, okay? <laughs> what I mean is, uh, for example, that I don't have to come and go anymore. Understand? Yes, it's be easier that way, yes. Uh, for example, a master come here from the fifth level and stay for a while and then went back to the fifth. After that... He's, he, he's not present here anymore, understand? And least of all, all over, everywhere else. You see what I mean? So like this, <laughs> I can come and go anywhere. No need to reborn and come back again. It's so tiring hmm? and so powerless sometimes. What is that? Who is that? Come in. What now? Is that my breakfast or lunch or dinner? <laughs> Don't worry, honey, I'm not hungry. I was just joking. Thirsty, thirsty. Not really. Thanks a lot, anyway. My dogs. 
They bite me today also. Normally they don't. Today they do. See, even dogs. <laughs> Normally it's okay. Today even dogs pee in the house. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, even yesterday, before you coming, you know, almost coming, a dog almost got killed on the street, Benny, you know, he run with the car and then he wanted to run under the car while the car is still moving. Oh my God, terrible. Lucky I was there and I stopped him on time, eh? Yeah. And the more I tell him to stop, the more he keep running. <laughs> I couldn't get him because I run and then he run also. Oh my God, it was terrible. Okay. It's, it's mostly like that, huh? Yes. The Maya doesn't like it when you come together and meditate and destroy his, uh, how you say, grip on some area of the planet, yeah? And you just expanding, 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 and he get etched into the other corner and he didn't like it at all. Understand? And then he keep bugging <laughs> my nearby people so that they can bug me. Because nobody else can. So would you say, Master, that Maya is now losing uh, power? Losing ground, yeah. yes. Loser! <laughs> <laughs> now, but not out yet, you know? Because the people invite him. People love him, that's why. People love him by doing bad things according to his instruction inside <laughs> or habit from his, his instruction. People love him, invite him by not inviting goodness, understand? And the house is empty, then anyone can come in to occupy that space. Yeah, okay? If people just keep goodness in their heart and invite only goodness, then Maya cannot enter. But unluckily, it is not the case. And uh, we cannot do much with him because technically he doesn't do anything wrong. <laughs> As I told you, he just created a tiger, and then create a rabbit next to it. And then the tiger eat the rabbit, and then by the law of fairness and just, the rabbit can become a tiger or another kind of uh, predator, yes. And to eat the, the tiger now became a rabbit or a chicken, or whatever that can be. Understand me? Yes. So I told you also that animals, some of them came from higher plane to come down, help humankind. Some came because of karma, just like human also. Some came from higher level to help here, and some also came because of karma. Eh? Understand now? Mm. Um, so um, this is very complicated, this world, eh? But never, never mind. I, I got all the souls up, <laughs> at least to the third level, so it doesn't matter. They, they just connected by a string here, you know, <laughs> like a puppet now. They're just working with the mind now, this souls are free. And all of you are free at the time of initiation already. You just connect it with your soul until until you go. Until the 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 string is cut. Yeah? And you gone forever. <laughs> it's the same with uh, most people on this planet now. But they, they don't go to the fifth level like you will, huh? No, huh? Okay? Let's go to maximum to the third level, high third level, or four even, but uh, at least they escape hell, you know? Yes. But as I told you, in this time, it's still screening time, even though you see less screening than before. They had less disaster, yes, less war, and yes, it seems everything more peaceful now. Today, America troops even, uh, I don't know today or not, but they're withdrawing from Japan base also. Yes, and they withdraw from Afghanistan, yes, etc. It feels uh, very good now. <laughs> Feel much better, hey? Before, every two, three days, a disaster all the time. and Every time, yeah, we we'll switch on TV, that disaster. Nowadays, very rare, yeah? Maybe once a month, or, but very... Uh, light compared to before. Hmm? Oh, thank God. It's different. Yeah, different, and thank God, and hope it's continue this way and we'll be singing, yes. And by the way, we have saved the planet. Uh, I don't know, I have to go get my, <laughs> my book, but more than 300 years anyway, okay? <laughs> Thank you.
How can I have forgotten? 382 years. Yes, what? Thank God we don't have to live that long. What do you mean? Who knows? Maybe you will. <laughs> You're so fed up with this world? No, it's, it's a gift given to humans to die one day. You know? to, you, I think I, I heard your story that uh, it was a blessing. You know, someone who was given a gift that could live for many thousand years, but he was... Uh, he didn't he want... Wanted, yeah, all he wanted at the end was to... To, to die. die, okay, okay. Yeah, it's boring to live in one world all the time, eh? There are so many. Even, yeah? Even if we want to leave again, we can go somewhere else yeah. otherwise. <laughs> a better world, eh? After this. <laughs> he didn't get it, huh? <laughs> it's like wife, huh? <laughs> you don't miss... I hope of the best. Yeah? Okay, yeah. sure, sure. It won't be any... Because I know who, who is my master. Yeah, okay, cool. Mm. Oh, anything I can tell you? I mean, anything you want to ask me? I just want to say hello, actually, because this is unofficial, you know? I came here because I had nowhere to go. Can I? Yeah. One. Uh, Dear Master, I wanted a uh, question one about Sri Ramakrishna. Oh, what do what you want to know? He died in the uh, uh, 1864. And he talking so much about Christianity, no? And uh, somebody said me that Sri Ramakrishna be Jesus. Is true? No. If it's true, what then? Both of them gone. Because <laughs> I need that. You need that? Yes. Hmm, I have because, to go uh, ask him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's not necessary. Listen, master. no, 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 listen. Every real master, they speak the same doctrine. Jesus, Buddha, yes. Prophet Muhammad, peace be on him, speak the same thing. Guru Danak, same thing. I know that. So whether you you don't you don't mean Jesus the person you mean Christ the power then yes. he is he has the same Christ power as Jesus had okay is that okay. what you want to say okay in any way hmm? okay thank you Master. not Jesus the person but Christ yes Jesus Christ the power hmm? different bag you know <laughs> like sometimes you put your clothes in a different bag another day you put in another bag same clothes. Yeah, yeah, I understand what you're saying. Some are the reincarnation of the same, um, the same soul, yes? But, uh, for example, for example, huh? If Jesus had one soul, individual soul, yes? And then, but he has also Christ's power yes. in order to become Jesus Christ. And Buddha is an individual soul, soul, but he also has the Christ power. So he became Buddha, okay? Now, the two of them, if they both uh, leave this world, they went back maybe to the fifth level or higher, they still retain their individual souls, yes? But the Christ power will go to another person on the planet or the other, you know, Christ power is not just one, can, can at the same time different planets have different masters, different bodies, okay? Yes. Uh, unless, like Jesus, I go back beyond the fifth level and become one with the God again, then the individual soul is no more. Understand me? Yes. Then, uh, then yes, other master will reincarnate, but not this soul Jesus reincarnate. Uh, doesn't matter who reincarnate, as long as they have this Christ power with them. They can do good work, yes? Okay? God's work, just the same. Thank you. Ma. Yeah, you're welcome. Anyway, ah, it's very interesting. The more you meditate, the more you know. And first, oh, many times you just stop there and you think, okay, this is it, you know? Even I was thinking before, you know, like, I was done. <laughs> But I'm not... Yeah, I'm not. I continue still now. 
I'm always amazed. Before even one time I thought, I give everything I earned to the world. At that, that time, very difficult to earn because uh, one hand I earn, one hand I have to, to give and take people. So I almost like empty my account, understand me? And then I thought, that's it, I give everything now, I'm going to just die and go to hell. I really was ready to go to hell at that time because I thought I'm done. I'm all laden with karmas and no marriage and I'm all dirty and not, don't have anything anymore, you know? So I thought, I'm going to die then and then go to hell. <laughs> but then not, then suddenly heaven let me live again and then I continue to meditate and I even discover better and better way to, to get quickly to higher level, yeah? It's just when you're ready to give up yourself, heaven just gives you back everything and more, you know? It is amazing. <laughs> and I'm so happy that I'm still here and continue to do <laughs> my journey. Yes, it's very important. I'm very happy. <laughs> So I'm telling you, sometimes you just don't give up hope or anything, even if you cannot meditate well or if you don't see anything, just continue. And then one day just, you just break through and you'll be very happy, yes? Even if you, you don't break through, it doesn't matter. I'm always there and helping you, okay? Even if you go just low level, I, I will also be there with you and continue like this, you know? It cannot be lower than this. <laughs> and then we continue, okay? <laughs> so even here, if I can bear to teach you, <laughs> sit next to you, and up here I can do. It's even better, okay? Even astral level, people are already much better than here. But there are two kinds of astral, eh? One is a hellish and one is heavenly, so... The people in the heavenly part of astral, they're very easy to teach already, much, much better than human, yes? And in a human standard, because over there you shed one of the body, the physical bodies, and which allows you to have more freedom, to, to collect information, to go anywhere in an instant, and you feel more free, more happy, you know? And this physical body is good for here, but up there, when you shed it, you can assimilate more. The mind is more clear, and you're not so limited like here. Here you have even the brain, <laughs> not just the mind only, but the brain. <laughs> Understand? Who is a troublemaker? You need it to live in this world. But he makes so much trouble. Understand? Yes. Mm. And that's why. That's why uh, we have trouble uh, believing the master or practicing according to the teaching, you know. You know it, but you just don't do it sometimes. You know very well, but you forget very easily. Because every day you work or you are in this world, people, jobs, friends, or not friends, lovers, they, they just bombard you with their thinking, their thought, their talk, their trouble, and their, their, their obstacles, and you just... You forget God most of the time. You know, even when you meditate, you try to remember God. At that time, you reserve for God. Still, they all come in. <laughs> God just stands outside and says, when is my time? <laughs> yeah, you sit there, you remember what your wife said to you this morning, what your girlfriend, you know, scold you this afternoon, uh, what job you haven't done well, how you do it next what your son make trouble for you, your daughter, whatever, your friend, your colleagues. You know what I mean? It's just all crowded in. And God is really have a hard time to even have just a little corner in, in your heart, you know? He's squeezing all the time. Oh my God, too crowded, too crowded. <laughs> then sometimes, <laughs> sometimes the soul is too tired, he gets out of the body, you know? And then you just lie there. Huh? The soul's fed up, goes. <laughs> Go out, have fun a little bit, freedom a little bit, yes. This world is like that, and even then I'm still with you. So don't worry if you go up there, you won't see me. You see me, old man, yeah? <laughs> Maybe you'll be, you feel even happier there, 
See me, I'm more beautiful. Yeah, I won't get old and you won't get old. You don't see, you will be like 16 again. Yeah, you like it better, who knows? Something. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe your wife is not even there because she's not practicing. <laughs> She'll be left behind somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so she, she won't keep, uh, you know, <laughs> obstructing you. <laughs> no, I make uh, more like like a film. Mm. Uh, so on the top of this, ne, uh, is the outside world and whatever uh, I have to do. But uh, in the meantime, I'm uh, always concentrate uh, inside. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's like, Very I don't good. know, uh, my wife sometimes said, you sit there on the chair and uh, you are snoring. Ah, but snoring. I, yeah, but I know that I'm not snoring, I'm you not leaving that, uh -huh. but I'm, I'm uh, meditating. Uh -huh. I, I know. Okay, understand. That, understand. Just I'm the body. Aware. Just the body, yeah. Okay. Yeah, just the body is uh -huh. doing something else, uh -huh. and so is the life. So uh, incredible. So yeah. you guys all can snore and tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny, man. But yeah, okay, if you are aware of that, that's okay. I understand. It's good. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, but how about when she scold you? Can you also be aware that you are concentrating <laughs> instead? <laughs> No, no, she told me later, uh -huh. uh, or... Yeah, okay, never mind, don't worry. She's just your test, you know? I yeah. told you already, most people, they met each other fall in love because they have been enemies in the former lives. Now you just have to bear it now. Mm? Maybe you buck her in former lives, who knows? <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe the same girl will come back. Yeah? Mm. Mostly it's like that. Mostly if one person keep bucking you, in this lifetime. That means they have done that in the past. Yeah? Uh, sometimes it's the opposite. Yes, understand? Sometimes it's the opposite. Uh, but it's good. You just continue that way and that's good. It's a good test and you're still going strong, you know? And so, what did you say whenever you come back from retreat? She cook your breakfast still or not? Oh, yes. Yes? yes? She does. Okay, then it's fine. She just talked, but she didn't mean anything. I guess not. And she is nice to others. If I call him, for uh -huh. example, uh -huh. she is very nice to me, really very nice. Yes. But then to him... Uh -huh. well, <laughs> yeah, because they have things with each other. Yeah. Yes. But she is really nice woman. Okay, okay. okay. So. She, she loves him too much, that's the thing. He's too handsome, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's all your fault, nah? Huh? <laughs> what to do, eh? Yeah. Okay, uh, anybody else want to tell me some good stuff or bad stuff or whatever stuff? <laughs> Hi, Master. Hi. Uh, one uh, very important question to ask you. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's uh, about my husband and... Uh, you have a husband now? Yeah. When? Oh, we are together for 10 years and we are like really? married for I, two years. But I didn't know heart. that. Okay, yeah. good, good, congrats. Yeah. So what happened now? Um, he's, uh, it's been three years since uh, he's not allowed to come to group meditation. And Why? Who would say that? Me? Uh, yeah. I it did? was on a retreat what and happened? he was a little bit too negative oh, yeah, yeah, about yeah, yeah, that saying... Guy, that guy, he's bad, he's bad. He's stay home, yeah. I, even if it's true, he should not say that. It's like putting a curse on the whole planet. I remember now. Oh, okay. He said, everybody... I don't want to repeat it. He's really terrible. You remember or not? Yeah. Even if it's true, saying something positive won't hurt anyone. Understand? It's like putting a curse on the planet and on the whole beings and humans and animals and everything. This is a terrible thing to say, yeah? Understand? Just like somebody already ill and depressed and weak, and you come and say, you're going to die for sure. Is that good? No, for sure not. Hey. Okay. Stay home. I don't want him. <laughs> Too bad. Yeah, really. He has to stay longer. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry if he's your husband. What kind of girl married to a husband like that? He's a very good husband. 
Yes, yeah, yeah. okay, fine. Good for you. <laughs> Good for you, but bad for the planet. Huh? My God, everybody doing their best, go out to give the flyers, you know, meditate to pray for the, the planet, and he just say like that. And we are practitioner. Our world has power. Understand? We should always say the positive thing concerning other people. Wish them well. Yeah? You explained? You explained. No, I don't want to repeat that thing, huh? Oh, okay, then, then I won't say anything. Yeah, well, okay. What can you explain? Well, it was like that before. Uh, it was a video, and you already mentioned in that video that we um, are already saving the planet, but he didn't saw that video. doesn't matter if I, he didn't. I know, I know, but he wanted to say that before he fought that, but now he knows that everything will be okay. He didn't say that. He was like uh, stuck. He didn't know what to say. He's just like that. Sometimes his mind... No, 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 no. Okay. It was so, so very, very definite that he said it like that. Doesn't he doesn't say that before? I thought everybody be, uh, but now you know I think no he didn't. He was so definite like that is a problem. I don't know. Maybe he want to win your heart, so he say something. No. But no, oh, forget it. Let him stay home. <laughs> I don't want a witch in my group. Oof, terrible. Even if he didn't see anything, even if he didn't know anything, even if he think really. The planet's not going to survive. He still should not say like that. Understand? Huh? Am I too harsh? Tell me. <laughs> no, his ego was so, oh, so bad. Yeah? That's ego. Yeah. I don't know, anyway. But just want to say against everybody else, just to, to stick out like a sore thumb or something. I'm sorry if, you, if he's your husband. If he's my husband, you know what I mean? Good that he's your husband. <laughs> if he's mine, hmm? <laughs> what happened to you? Why you sit like a miserable egg? Something wrong? No, 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 it's all right. No? I'm fine, I'm fine. But... You're thinking something, right? Something positive or negative or in between? Something, yes. Tell me. No, I'm I'm saying that uh, that uh, many of us all also maybe maybe we even uh, lost hope on the way, you know, that we could even lost hope. You say you lost hope, huh? You you think you say that you think maybe, but you cannot just well, definite like that. Yeah, because this <coughs> clock, you know, that we were watching uh, count down on the yeah. SMTV was really uh, yeah. scary and real. Uh, it was well, real. Yeah. It was real. And the planet was really in uh, peril. Yeah, but you don't know for sure. No, because... no. You see, you cannot say, like, you know everything already. You know? If a person is sick, very sick, yes, and maybe we feel a lost hope or anything, but you are not even a doctor. You cannot pronounce that you're going to die. You understand this? Yes. If you are a doctor, you can see everything, maybe, okay, okay, I see your organ or fair and... You're going to die. But you're not even a doctor. You don't even see anything in the future or past or present. And you just pronounce like you know it. It's like a death sentence. It's not like a maybe or it's not like a perhaps. It's not. Okay? I'm sure he's a good husband, but he's not a good practitioner and he's not a good world citizen. Huh? Okay? Hmm. I hope he repents well. Maybe next time I let him come. Okay, okay. So you're not happy with my sentence, huh? Oh, he I... put a death sentence on the whole planet. I only sentenced no, no. him to stay at home. Are you not happy? No, I'm happy. I'm happy. I hope so. You don't yeah. look so. <laughs> Listen, everybody just come to group meditation, call me master, but always they, they decide what I should do with my disciple. It's like I go in your house and tell you how to how to teach your children. You know what I mean? It's very difficult for me. Everybody always criticizing in their head, you know, like, master should be like this, master should be like that. How do you know you're not even a master yet? <laughs> when do you master, you become even worse maybe, you know? Everybody's like that. For example, if, if a sister sit there and is staring at me and, and projecting this very uncomfortable energy to me, and if I tell her to go to behind a little bit or go up, then... Everybody thinks, oh, Master is so bad. 
How about me? Nobody did feel sorry for me ever. I sit here, everybody projecting things onto me. And even one is the worst one, and I, I, I couldn't bear it. Or maybe it's her ego I need to, to cut. Yeah, maybe her karma I have to clean. No, if I take her, tell her, go somewhere else, then I am the bad guy. Everybody seems to tell me how I do my job. You know what I mean? Inside or outside. Sometimes they talk out loud, sometimes they don't. But it's very difficult for me. How can I do my job if everybody tell me how to do it? You know, it's like you go into the school and tell the teacher you should. This is how you you should teach your students. You know, and you are nobody even. You don't even have a, a, a teacher a license or anything. You understand why you're laughing? Is it fun? Yeah, it's so. It's like that, eh? And sometimes I'm fed up also, you know? Sometimes I had it too, I had enough. It's bad enough that outside people already attack me everywhere. And my own disciple criticizing me all the time and telling me how I have to do my job. And they are nowhere, even on the, the third level even. You understand me? It's not like that. Sometimes, like, at home, your, your, your children, you know them better than the neighbor know them. And then sometimes you tell them, you ground it, one hour, two hours, and the neighbor don't know anything, what he did, comes, how can you teach, teach, treat your children like this? Why you grounded him? He's done nothing, he looks so innocent, pitiful, blah, blah, blah. You understand me? So that's not right, huh? This is a problem with the people. Sometimes I'm fed up also, I don't even want to do group meditation, I don't want to see people anymore. It's so difficult to do my job. I'm, I'm, I'm risking everything to come see them, and then they, all they do is just criticizing. Do you understand? Many times, you know, in other group meditation, it's like that. I feel it. Even if they don't say it, I feel it also. Or even if I don't feel it, they do it, you know, in their head. They think I am bad to this student, that disciple. What for I do that? Even, uh, even if I'm bad, so what, you know? Then leave me. <laughs> Don't come back. Just go. I'm bad, bad woman. Understand? Yeah. Why bother coming and criticizing, making bad karma for yourself? This is very difficult for me. You know, sometimes, because if I don't do it, then I'm not doing my job well. And if I do it, then then they're criticizing me. Understand? What do I do? Whatever I do is is, <laughs> is never correct. Yeah, or if I treat somebody very very nicely, and other person jealous, why not me? Why him? Yeah, or maybe he's more handsome, maybe he's richer, and maybe he's whatever. I don't know. <laughs> this is like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if I treat a woman nicely, then nobody say anything. But if I treat a man nicely, whoa, whoa, <laughs> mm, a lot of question. Yeah. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> Yeah? It's, it's truly here also. Sometimes I need to, some people here come to my room to get something. Because some, sometimes I cannot just tell everybody what I'm doing, yeah? And for my own security, yeah? But I, 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 I don't even let him step in. Just step in and then step out quick. I say, get out now, quick, <laughs> before they think we're doing something in here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because in my room, you know, come to my room now, <laughs> or midnight. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> what does she want with this handsome young boy, huh? Midnight, go to my room now, quietly, huh? <laughs> Don't wake everybody up, okay? <laughs> For example, you know, like that. And sometimes I had to close the door because we had to talk without other people listening. My life, I cannot always. Explain it to everybody what I'm doing, huh? And sometimes I have to risk it, you know? Yeah. If I don't have a woman there, then I have to have a man. <laughs> and sometimes it's so funny. One disciple tried me out. And then suddenly I was laughing so much. And I said to him, because at that time the newspaper wrote bad things about me, you know? Yeah. And then uh, so I was laughing. I said to him, oh, they didn't know half of the things that I'm doing even. They just think I took money from disciples, but they didn't know what the half of the thing I'm doing. If they know, I call many men to my room midnight or after midnight. 
one after another. <laughs> and all in secret, you know, <laughs> and talk quietly, <laughs> close the door. Then they would even write more interesting story. Why don't you just tell them? <laughs> yeah, because many of them are single, you know? Yeah. And they would wonder, well, what does she do? Why does she keep calling all these single, handsome men to her room? And even after midnight, you know, not just... Not just before midnight, but the whole night through. <laughs> One come in and another come out. We saw it. <laughs> I said, wow, if they all know this, eh? <laughs> and I was laughing, and, and the driver was also laughing so much, so much, and we had so much fun at that time. Even in such a, you know, troubled time, I, I still can laugh, you know, because, yeah. Okay, sorry. I talk about myself again. <laughs> but I guess you like it, huh? Yeah. 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 Okay, tell me, what else do you want to tell me? Or oh, question? Huh? I can share something nice. Yes. Tell me. When you spoke before uh, that after we die, we look younger. We look younger, yes, yes, yes. of course. I can share that my grandmother died this yes. year like 3 months ago oh. and then and then during the meditation i mean before she died she was in a bed she couldn't get up even for 2 months it was terrible for 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 her because yes. she was really independent woman before I understand, that understand understand yeah. that must be terrible i think it was so terrible that you feel she helpless just, yes yeah she just decided to die i had this feeling Oh really? Yeah, but and then like uh, two weeks after, I was meditating, and then I saw her. Yeah, she was so vibrant, like like maybe forty five years old. I mean, she was eighty two when she died. Understand? But um, but in my meditation, she was so happy. And so young. So young, so young, beautiful, as I have never seen her before. Ah, and energetic. Yeah, energy. energetic. She was just shining out the <gasps> the, the energy. And then she kind of slid from the bedroom to her kitchen. Like before she died, she couldn't walk. But oh, yeah. it's just but like gliding away, like yeah, dancing. Yes, yes. yes exactly. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's like that. Honey. It's I like... was, I mean, I was so happy to see her. Yes, and see good, her in this good. state. Yes, because of your love, you are allowed to see her like that. Yes. So to let you know that she's okay. <laughs> Thank okay. You. Thank um, you. Even be younger than that. After a while, they get even younger and younger. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Just because the uh, beginning, you know, uh -huh, uh -huh. the age recedes, you know, but slowly. Otherwise, it would be too sharp even for the astral body. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. But the more she stays there, or the more she goes higher, the younger she looks. She looks younger than you. Mm. Wow. <laughs> yes. Good. Good news. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you for listening. Mm. Oh, no. We like we like positive story. Anybody else? Come. Yeah, here. Uh, may I ask something about uh, blessing lines? Sure, sure. Uh, so, what is the purpose of this uh, blessing net around the globe? I have told you, no, to protect uh, this but planet. Okay, to protect it. But do we need to travel on these uh, blessing lines? No. No? No, we go by Heaven Gate and Heaven Road. Uh, I know, I know. But mm -hmm. uh, when this uh, net was uh, construed mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. in, in this year, ne? Reconstruct. Reconstruct, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, do we uh, still need to go on these lines around the globe? Uh, I don't know. Why? Why do we have to go anywhere? I don't know, but uh, is it uh, good or...? You mean we have to go and meditate where the lines are? Is that what it is? No. no. What is, what, I never told you to go anywhere to find any lines. No. No. I just tell you where the lines sometimes more concentrate or less concentrate so that you can benefit from it. Like here now, we even have heaven gates a lot, okay? So it's very good for you to come here and meditate. Hmm? Heaven gates, blessing lines and blessing portals, 
yeah, and heaven ways. It's and very sun. Sun. Of course, of course, yes. The sun is everywhere, but here in your center you have heaven gates even now. Okay, blessing lines, blessing portals. Yes, I lost counts because too many center, but a lot here. Okay, a lot here. Mm. But this is this is new heaven portal here. Mm -hmm. We can move them around. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's allowed. Yeah, the stronger you are, the more things you can do. If before I was not that strong, because I have to carry a lot of load, yeah. And after a while, uh, I get stronger and stronger, yeah. I was almost down, but I'm up again and stronger now. I can move a lot of stuff. Must I be doing like this now? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Look at that muscle. <laughs> See this, huh? Muscle. No? <laughs> but strong? we are happy. We see you twice in the one month. Aha. Uh -huh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, twice. you are lucky. Very, very lucky. <laughs> you are very lucky. Extra. Yeah. Extra. Yeah. Yeah. I, Extra lucky. I came Why? here because Why? I didn't know where to go. Mm. I didn't know where to go. Yeah, he said twice he's lucky. Yeah, okay. I didn't know where to go at that time, you know. I was so busy doing uh, the group meditation, and then at the last minute I said, Oh, my God, where am I going now? My God, where am I going? <laughs> so I just came here. I didn't even want to come here. <laughs> I'm sorry, not because I don't like you or anything. It just feels too far. I was so tired. It feels too far from there to drive again with a small car with three dogs behind and a driver that I don't really get on well with. And <laughs> gosh, you know what I mean? And uh, I really didn't want to travel that far, but I had nowhere to go. I was homeless. I had to come here for a while. Hmm? <laughs> I've been here like uh, maybe a week already, huh? Ferry? How long? One week here? Yeah? I'm not sure. I come up later. <laughs> oh, you come back later, yeah. How long? One week. One week? Ah, it feels like a long time. Mm -hmm. It's good. Okay. Anything else? I didn't know you have that kind of husband. Oh, I will tell you. Oh, I'll think about it again. <laughs> No, no, never mind. He's just stupid, okay? I don't know what kind of person would say such thing in such a sensitive time, even if it's true, you know? Yeah. I was also surprised. I'm shocked, not surprised. I was very shocked and, and, and very upset, very sad that my own people would say such thing. <sighs> I'm sorry about that. No, it's not your fault. Not your fault, huh? What? I feel like I have. I'm sorry about that. Why? It's not your fault. You know. Yeah, husband is not always the same as wife, and wife is not always the same as husband. <laughs> yeah, you can talk to him. He knows about it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If you're happy with him, and I'm happy for you. Okay. Yeah. He He's very sorry about that. He is, I'm sure. Yeah, and he feels like um, he's trying and he's meditating a lot. Then, but I know that he's not happy about that. And too bad. He, I know, and he feels like the God um, has um, left him behind or something. Maybe. <laughs> okay, he wants it that way. Oh, why? Like, why does he have to go against everybody? Everybody was hoping and praying and we're, you know, positive about it. He just had to say contrary. I know some men are like that. They love it. They love to stand out as the cause of anything. And I don't like that. Okay? This is not a joke. It wasn't a joke. It wasn't like a competition of ego. It wasn't even competition against me. It's against the whole planet. Billions of people and billions of animals and other things. Understand? It's like a death sentence pronounced. I was really upset for many days. I'm still upset if I think about it. So don't remind me again. I won't. We have to be kind, you know. Not not just uh, talk, just to, just to feel good about it. Just to feel like okay, I dare say something that other people don't dare. It's not like that. You have to be kind, yeah? Whatever you say is from your heart, no? Hmm? 
Okay, never mind, never mind. He's meditated at home, he's fine also. I'm also there in your house, you know that, okay? By the way, don't put my picture behind your butt and sit on it all the time, please. You know, in, in, the, in the man's wallet, all of you just put it in. <laughs> me in your wallet and behind me and then sit on... How am I going to breathe or bless you all this way? No. And some people even hide me under bed and all that, like that lady, you know. If the mother doesn't like it, she shouldn't force her. You see what I mean? And put me under bed. No wonder sometimes I feel suffocated, like I'm in, nailed in a coffin and couldn't get out. Really, it's like that. It's not fun. Sometimes I'm suffocated. And I could not even stay in a big room even. I had to run outside. You know, even outside, I still feel, feel suffocated, like I'm nailed in a small coffin and couldn't get out. That terrible feeling. And, and often, I had to feel like that. Can you imagine you're nailed inside a dark coffin and you couldn't get out? Imagine that feeling. I feel like that many times because many of you do these kind of things. It's okay. I can bless you or heal you even, but I never promise this. I promise you liberation, yourself and your five generations, even without you praying. That should be a lot already, okay? And if uh, you pray to me because your mother is sick or something, and if I can help her, I will. But don't force me under the bed so that I can bless your sick mother. How can I bless your sick mother? If I'm, uh, I'm, I'm uh, I say, tucked under there in the darkness and suffocating. The person photo when alive is similar to that person, especially when that person very sensitive. Understand me? You see the picture of Buddha and Jesus. They put it on the altar and they and they worship every day. They don't put it under bed or behind the butt like that, huh? Why keep asking me uh, if I'm Jesus or Buddha? What if I am? You know, you don't treat me like a wooden Buddha even, or a pig, or just a paper Buddha, or paper Jesus. You put me everywhere and everything, toilet even, to guard your toilet, my God. Does somebody come in and steal your toilet or something? Huh? Incredible. Love has to have also wisdom, huh? and uh, respect, okay? I wouldn't put your picture in my toilet, for example. I wouldn't do that, even if it's just your picture, because you're still alive here, and, and you know, as if you're sitting there and looking at me, and you have to sit in the toilet forever, 24 hours, 7. Isn't that nice? Do you understand me? Yes. 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 My picture is for you to remind you of what I told you about how great you are and how you can get greater and greater and you can go to heaven and you can liberate yourself and help the world. That is my picture is for, okay? And if you're scared and you put my picture around and then you feel safer, then it's fine. But it's not to be abused for many too much physical uh, desire, okay? Even you don't put your, my picture there, you pray. If I can help your mother, I would. There's no need to push me under her sick bed. <laughs> Suppose you really believe my picture does work because you believe my picture is also me, then how you trap me under the bed like that? Huh? Not to talk about having respect for your teacher any teacher at all, not to talk about master or anything. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, we have to have common sense and respect. Yes? As if you would treat me. You would put me under your bed, would you? Huh? Would you? No, Master. No. Or any bed? No, same. Same with the photo. If you believe my photo can heal your mother even, then you cannot trap under there. You see what I mean? Let her free so she can help you. Let, let the master free. Okay? How can anybody trap under the bed to help you to do anything? Yeah? She's stuck. Huh? Couldn't even breathe. Sometimes I could not breathe. 
because of these things, because of the, the, the intention of the person, not just the photo. Understand me? Yeah. Master, you stay down there. You know, bless my mother because she doesn't want you. Ah, why is that? I never even force you to believe me. Why should you force your mother to believe me? Understand me? Anything forced is no good. Huh? It's against the law of heaven. So don't even do this kind of silly things. Hmm? If you believe my photo can heal, then the person look at it. It's better, okay? Better than trap on the bed. Not to talk about respect yet, okay? Hmm. It's against the common sense. Huh? So anybody who believes in my picture, then you let them have it. Look at it, maybe. Okay? Don't force the master into a sick bed, into a hospital, under the rotten <laughs> chair or bed. This is really, really very un- unimaginable. Yeah? Maybe even unacceptable hmm? in any sense. Okay? Why do I talk about this? I don't remember why. You finish with her and then you have this thought on this time. Ah, uh-huh. okay. Yeah, because I told her that I, I'm always there with him anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Let him learn his lesson, okay? Mm-hmm. I know he's your husband, but be happy that he is, because if he's mine, you know what I do. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, you know, I'm happy for you. No? I'm happy that you're happy. It's, it's difficult to have a happy relationship. No? And if you're happy, that is something already. Are you happy? 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 Yeah. Happy? Happy? <laughs> yeah, but did you ask your husband, is he happy? <laughs> <laughs> sometimes just one side, you know? Yes. Yeah, sometimes some people come to me and boast me, Ah, oh, I'm so happy in my relationship, you know? Oh, and I say, and the other one said, no, Master, I'm not. I'm not happy with him. <laughs> so have to be both sides, eh? Con- considerate. Eh? Okay, anything you want to tell me? If not, then uh, I go I home. can tell you something. Tell me. Ah, you, she wants to keep me here. <laughs> one guy wrote to me a letter, like a friend, mm. that I should leave you because news- newspaper said stuff about you. Mm-hmm. And I say, no, 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 this is not true, because I was there, I know she's not talking, she didn't do this. Mm -hmm. But anyhow, if you want to believe, you believe, and then you will be ashamed in the end, so whatever. Mm. And this guy, uh, and also I say, okay, if you don't believe me, you don't have to believe me, but I am like sad, you know, like a woman, because he's a man, I was using like woman a little Mm, bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, if you don't believe me, then don't need to believe me. I'm so sad. (laughs) So sad. <laughs> and you know, this guy, he is not initiated. Uh-huh. And he uh, took your books yes. and read the books. Uh-huh. And he wrote back to me after three weeks uh-huh. that uh, she, this is you, you know, uh-huh. uh, because uh, he, I didn't talk to him like you are master. Mm-hmm. I say, Madam Ching Hai, you know. Mm. Uh, so he wrote to me, she didn't do anything what newspaper said. He wrote to you? He yes. said, like, how does he know? Uh, he wasn't even there. From your books. Oh, I and see. then he said to me, he wrote, this is battle between good and bad. Uh, the battle between good and bad. Yeah. Uh, then he knew it. It's good. It's good. It's mostly the newspaper or television. They want sensation. Yeah. They just make it bigger than it is. And... <laughs> It's not just this time, it's uh, the whole Taiwan, you know, newspaper and television uh, wrote things about me that I I thought it was somebody else. <laughs> but never mind, you know, it is uh, the price to pay for rescuing people and the planet. You can't do good thing in this world and be praised or be loved, you know, um, by all, yes? Maybe a small group of people would love you, but... Not everybody, okay? Because this world, I told you already, is this the world of <laughs> struggle and, and war, you know? Up to now, it's still like that. All the people who have this kind of mentality will be born in this world just to live like this kind of life. That's why it's so difficult for them to even understand the plain things that we, we understand. It was so plain that when we talk, like for example, when I talk, you understand right away. The first day, so you come and get initiation. But 
How many people understand it? They didn't. And some of you maybe see me with a lot of light around me, but other people don't see nothing. It's just uh, too busy criticize my glorious clothes <laughs> or my hair or my lipstick or whatever, you know? They don't see anything else. This is the thing, yes? So now, how many masters you saw, the real, I mean the true one, never had good things, never had good uh, comment, <laughs> mostly not in this world, yeah? Look at Jesus. I even attempted assassinate Buddha many times. Somebody even cut one of his toe off. You know, uh, missing, missing. <laughs> so just one toe cut off, for example, like that. And then uh, one time he, he was so uh, cornered or something, he could not eat, had nothing to eat. He has to eat like horse uh, stuff, you know, for three months. Horse, uh, oh. huh? Oh. Not even old <laughs> men. Is that good? Horse old. <laughs> you know, those uh, dry stuff. Sometimes they mix it with uh, hay. Huh? hay or stuff. You know, it's not really good oats like you eat for breakfast. It's just too kind. <laughs> you are very positive. <laughs> I'm glad, but it's the wrong time. <laughs> good idea, wrong, wrong time. Yeah. Uh, don't worry. You know, they, they won't hurt me. <laughs> they won't hurt me. Yes. I mean, they couldn't hurt me anymore. Uh, then already did. Well, this world is like that. Okay? And I knew it already before I begin this mission. But uh, of course, knowing in advance and being hit by it at that time, it was different. Yeah. I did cry also many times, feeling sorry for the world, that they are so blind. I wrote the Stone Buddha. I told you that I have forgotten. I think only two. <laughs> I think I remember some now, like, my dogs, they, they don't like it because normally I'm with them meditating. Some, I remember some now. Hello, Buddha, why do you cry? Talking to the Stone Buddha, eh? Stone Buddha, because I couldn't even talk to <laughs> living Buddha. Hello, Buddha, why do you cry? In your stone heart, any desire? Why do your tears run down the sea? Why give your love to the pebble? Oh, Buddha, oh, Buddha, why did you leave Nirvana? Oh Buddha, oh Buddha, what is here to search for? Endless pain and sorrow. Oh Buddha, oh Buddha, why did you live Nirvana? Something like that. <laughs> It's a very nice song. When I wrote it, I cry a lot. When I sang it first time, I cry a lot. Now I don't cry anymore. <laughs> it seemed like just a nice song, yeah? Hello, Buddha, why do you cry? In your stone heart, any desire? Why do your tears stream down the sea? Why give your love to the pebbles? <laughs> Why give your love to the stones, <laughs> to the pebbles? Useless. <laughs> That's what I meant. Yeah? <laughs> I don't feel it. Hello, Buddha. Why do you cry? Oh, I think I forgot something. <laughs> I better go get it. I go get the thing, okay? <laughs> okay, maybe I can sing for you. <laughs> if I have it. I probably have it, that's what they done. <laughs> I don't know. If I have it, okay? Okay. okay. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. I only remember this one.
I really like that song. I mean, the real version, not the one that printed. Because I just printed the translator and the printed is not the real version. Hello, Buddha, why do you cry? In your stone heart, how much desire? Why do your tears stream down the sea? Why give your love to the pebble? Oh, Buddha, oh, Buddha, why did you leave Nirvana? What is here to search for? Endless pain or sorrow. Oh Buddha, oh Buddha, hurry now, leave samsara. Back to where no sorrow, only joy eternal, only love. No border. Hello, Buddha. Why do you smile? And your stone heart is full of light. Why do your arms embrace the world? Why does your love shine forever? Oh, Buddha, oh, Buddha, oh, Buddha, oh, Buddha. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Something more? Good news? Okay, Anna? Uh, Master, I was just thinking like um, the hotel had before Blessing Line, now have uh, Heaven Portal and Heaven Gate. Mm -hmm. In Slovenia, we have only two, uh, two Blessing Line. Can mm -hmm. we, as a kind of Slovenian group, uh, how can we maybe help to spread the web? Shall we meditate more at different places? Or have group yeah, meditation if, if many you can. more times? Yeah, if you can. If you can have different places, good yeah. also. But if you're strong enough, even if you stay in one place, also spread. Okay. But also, it's, of course, it's good if you can spread it out, yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and in, in the beginning, maybe the new place doesn't feel as good as the old place, because you have to clean it up first, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, the environment. But later on, it will feel just as good, yeah. Even here, when I first came here, oh, I have headache. Often I never had it for how long, I don't remember how long. Very strange headache, and my tears keep running down. <laughs> even even though I'm not facing the the light like like normally in a big group meditation, I keep running down all day. <laughs> but today is okay. Even if I'm facing it, it doesn't run down like that. See what I mean? And now and then a little bit, but not like running, running. Yeah. Because this place sometimes, I don't mean this uh, room, maybe this room is better, because you come often and meditate and uh, no other come up. But the hotel has guests, you know. Mm. We want to share the news and the ideas with the world, but we also have to take the garbage. You see, the customer came, they enjoy our service, but they left the garbage behind, no? We have to clean the room again, wash the, the sheets, yeah? Clean the floor, huh? Same. <laughs> Same with karma. If we could see karma, then it's even worse than that. <laughs> could not even clean with the mop. <laughs> oh, all right, love. Anything else? Yes, Slovenia, Slovenia, huh? I wanted to go there, but I don't know anybody. You know me. <laughs> yeah, sure. You can come to my place, but it's so small, so... How small? I normally have small places, you know meters. that. Huh? 50, 55, 55. 55? You call that small? 
I told you I have four by four. No, uh, a small, maybe for you and three dogs and uh, two attendants. Enough? Oh, it's enough. Wow. <laughs> Why you say small? Um, I just have feeling that uh, maybe you need some space because before you were talking how sometimes um, if your picture is... <laughs> I feel what? If you feel sometimes you feel too um, like squashed. Um, you don't feel space. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. No, it's not the heart. It's okay. the people. It's not the space. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, I told you I feel lonely among people. But when I'm in the mountain alone, I just feel good, so good. Yeah. You know, sometimes uh, you stay together with people in the city. You feel like you need a woman, you need a man, you need a boyfriend, a girlfriend to comfort you or to come home, to run into their arms or just to feel like you belong somewhere, you know? But if you are in the mountain alone, you don't ever feel like that. I can tell you something like... Uh... I was uh, with my boyfriend, like yes. we just broke, and before I felt I felt many times lonely. I was I bought myself flowers because I was living alone. Mm -hmm. But now, since we broke, I feel very yeah. happy. Uh -huh. <laughs> what kind of boyfriend is that? <laughs> no, no. Sometimes it's not yeah. because of him, honey. Yeah, I understand oh, it's not you. Of, okay, I, I thought it's it because of him. Uh -huh. No, no, okay. no, no. It's because of him, but it's not because of him. Uh -huh. yeah. The thing is like this. When you're alone, you organize your life, you arrange your space, and you know what time you want to do what, or you don't want to do what, or you don't care whenever you do what, yes? But when you're together with somebody, you have to arrange it with him or with her, you see? And then, you, and then normally, because you're boyfriend and girlfriend, you expect a lot of affection and help and cuddling and attention, and when you don't get that, then you feel bad. You feel lonely. True, true. Yes. But if you're alone, then you know nobody here. Well, is somebody here to hug me? No, nobody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hug myself then. <laughs> See what I mean? Then you don't expect. The expectation is what hurts, because the two person cannot read each other's mind. Sometimes he's tired. He work long hours, or he been uh, you know fed up with the tax office or whatever, and then he come home and you expect a, a, a hug. And he just couldn't do it at that time. And you think he don't like you. You think maybe today he saw somebody prettier or something. You know how the mind just trick you all the time. You see, I mean, he could be the best husband in the whole world, but he's just a human and he has a body, and sometimes his body is tired, and he has emotion, and sometimes his emotion doesn't match with your emotion at that particular moment when you need it most. But he couldn't read your mind that you really need it today. Okay. But he should feel, you no, know. No, no, he can't. <laughs> he feel okay, maybe, but he has so many other things to feel, and it's overcrowded him, and he couldn't pick out which one, okay? He couldn't pick out which one is more important, or, or maybe he feels for you, but then in a flash, and then the tax <laughs> money coming, and the, 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 the lousy customer today, or the, the bad colleagues, or anything else, it just come flooding in and kill immediately the feeling that he just intuitively feel for you. You see what I mean? It kills it. So if you want him to know, just tell him. All right, today I really need you a lot. If, if you don't not really very busy with every urgent thing, please let's go out, have a coffee, or hug each other, or cuddle on bed for a while. Yeah, just tell him, okay? Or tell her, whoever. Tell. Because you cannot read each other's mind. That is the problem. That's why we have this body. It stops everything. It protects you from other people's uh, bad projection, and it protects you from not knowing. Sometimes he thinks anything bad <laughs> protects you not to be hurt by his maybe feeling for the next girl or something in a moment or two, you know? But it also stops you or stops him from knowing each other's feeling. You know, the door stop the wind, but also stop the fresh air as well. Do you understand that? Sure. So if you want him to do something, tell him. Especially emotional part. Men, they're not very very good at that. But I kept telling and didn't change. At that moment only. No, okay. Now, every day is different. You tell him today, but tomorrow at 3 o'clock you feel bad that today you feel bad at 7 o'clock. <laughs> 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 he couldn't guess it. He forgot also, honey, he forgot, because he's also busy, 
okay? And men are not so emotionally, so very uh, sensitive like women. That is the problem. That's why they have muscle. Okay? And they have other things, and we have other things. So we complement each other. I'm just telling you, but by me also, just don't ask me. I do exactly the same. Hell no. <laughs> I expect him to read my mind. Yeah, I will. <laughs> I would. <laughs> yes. Because when we are in this emotionally upsetting state, we cannot think like what I'm saying right now, okay? So if you love him, then forgive him and start it again. And you have to expect that sometimes he forgets. And you have to expect that sometimes he physically or emotionally not fit. You know, emotion also sometimes gets sick. Just like physical body, we get sick sometimes, we get tired. The emotional sometimes get worn out also, not because of you, but because of outside factor. You know, like working lousy with a colleague, so today customer complain too much, or some, uh, some goods he ordered did not arrive, and he's stuck with no food to serve people, and people with their waiting, and he don't do his best. Anything happen, and then he's like ruined inside when he comes home. Okay, same with you. You have days when you feel top of the world. Some days you really need his arm to run back into. But that sometime, that time the arm's not there. That is a problem. <laughs> the arm's somewhere else <laughs> because his mind's somewhere else. Not because he doesn't love you. Believe me. Believe me. Men are mostly very, very emotionally faithful. And they do really, really respect their girlfriend or wife. Unless some extreme case, they would never want to leave. Do you understand me? It's just sometimes we be together too long already. We take each other also for granted. That's another thing. Uh, another thing because in this world, so many things crowded our heart, our mind. And then we forget the priority that family comes first. Family is where you take refuge in. So you must make an effort to keep that family tight so that you can come home and feel peace there and feel love there. Otherwise, everywhere is ruined. If you bring your work home in your mind, then you ruin your house also, and then you have nowhere to go. Understand? Even your, if you have a house, but you won't have a home. You have a girl, but you don't have a friend. So remember, what is priority? And Forgive each other and start again, if you can, okay? If just because uh, he neglects you, then he can change. He can. But just tell him at that moment, every day. Of course, it's difficult to tell him. We, we don't like to beg for emotion, for, for, for hug or beg for affection. This is the thing. But so he just, the guy just doesn't know, believe me. If you ask him, he really doesn't feel it. He I will know. tell him. I will tell him. Yeah? <laughs> Keep telling him. He will not know it, understand? Because he's too busy elsewhere. And the same with me, believe me. You think I'm always affectionate to everybody. It's not true. It's not like that. If I'm busy with something more bigger than life, don't go near me, huh? <laughs> Just don't say anything. Don't ask anything. Don't even say, I love you, Master, because I don't need it. <laughs> At that moment, I just need concentration. I just need to, to, to solve something. You know, like national crisis, for example, economic problem of Europe, uh, things like that, okay? Truly, we are all victims here, Anna. We are all victims here. Victims of the bombardment of this very, very uh, heavy world that we couldn't even, sometimes we even forget ourselves. You know, sometimes I'm so busy that I even forget to clean my nails, and sometimes I thought, my God, what kind of woman are you? Look at your nails. And then I forget to do it again. I continue to, 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 to take care of my other thing, you know, my train of thought and my concentration. You know, sometimes I'm so ashamed that my, my feet are so wrinkled and dry and, you know, hard. And I was so ashamed I had to wear socks to cover it. You know? <laughs> and then sometimes I sit with my, even my assistant, girl or boy, I, I have to cover it because I feel so ashamed I didn't take care of myself. You understand me? Lucky you came today, so I dye my hair, I wash my body, and <laughs> yeah, I do a little bit of nail stuff, but sometimes I don't even do that. Not even myself, I would remember, not to talk about any boyfriend or girlfriend, you know? Yeah? So if you can't do it, then leave alone. Of course, you feel better, then it's also fine. You know why you feel better? You just need a break. 
You need a space, but maybe you miss him and you come back to him again. That's fine. Now and then you can just separate and t- take a break. Don't do anything like ultimate. Just say, okay, I need a break. I don't know when. Not one week, one year. <laughs> I don't know when, but I tell you. Okay? So don't, don't make the ultimatum. So in case you miss him again, you don't lose your face, you beg him coming back, huh? <laughs> just say, I need a break. Okay? Yeah, talk together and say, well, look here, lately I feel very run down and you are not a help. You don't hug me when I, I feel bad and you don't see my face when I feel sad. You should be able to feel it. But he's also maybe a busy man, understand? And uh, just like me, you know, I'm sorry if any become my boyfriend. I think he's going to be very, very miserable, <laughs> worse than you. Because I'm always elsewhere, mostly, you know? To be affectionate and uh, romantic, you must have a certain amount of relaxation and you must not have too much stress on your work, okay? If both of you don't have the same level of stress, then one have too less, one have too more, then cannot understand each other very well. That's all. But please, don't forget his good qualities and good time together and just... Maybe you have to talk it out or write it down, the point that you want him to do, so that he can read it every day like a Bible, and then he won't forget. <laughs> He's so happy, He's so happy, laughing like that. <laughs> yeah, sometimes he needs reminding, okay, honey? <laughs> Just you, you're too proud to ask, I know that. All women are like that, and we expect the men to understand everything. They don't. They're an idiot, don't you know that? <laughs> Yes, but don't forget, we, in this world, you know, it's even more lonely if you don't have a good friend. Yeah. I, if, have, I, have, I have a good friend. Boy or no, girl? her. Okay? Yes, yes, but she cannot uh, replace a, 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 a man. It's different. Yeah, okay. Unless you are a lesbian, then I'll say nothing. <laughs> or a bi. <laughs> There are some bi people, they like both, you know, <laughs> fun both sides. Yeah, my God, if you are a real man or a real woman, already have a lot of trouble already. How, how much more trouble if you are bi, <laughs> you know, <laughs> bisexual? Oh, I don't know how they deal with it. <laughs> it's beyond me. <laughs> okay, uh, listen, I feel that, that you guys are just having a little, you know, temporary breakup, but you will come back together again. If you've been together how long? Seven years. Seven years. It's just a seven year each. You know that? <laughs> In uh, English, they say there's two phrases of the relationship where it may break or it may make. Three years and seven years. Three years each and seven years each. And you just need a little rest, okay? And think about it. And if you really, truly want to get rid of him, it's not that difficult. <laughs> the guy will not do anything. He's a vegetarian, he keeps the five precepts, he can't do much, <laughs> okay? He will leave you alone then, but maybe you don't want to lose him, okay? Up to you. Yeah. How about him? Does he feel happy without you? No, huh? No. I told you, told you, men are more faithful than women. That's definitely like that. But he should True. put some more effort, you know? He just waits until I come back. Oh, that's a guy, huh? <laughs> He does nothing. He just waits. He does nothing. Hey, he's you know, a good boy. I know, but you know, he he like he just stands and waits until I come back. He should, Understand? Yeah, he should make a. Yeah, a step. yeah, that's bad. No, that's yeah, bad. That I know man. that. I know that male ego. You always humble yourself down. It won't hurt, okay? If you really love her, what's the harm? Nobody know. I, I, she won't tell me that you come and beg in her. No, she won't tell me. She won't tell anybody. Even if she tells, so what, you know? You humble a little bit and you have a beautiful woman. Hmm? Yeah, who makes you happy and miserable without, see? <laughs> so, so the price is not high. Do it. Make an effort. Express, okay? Sometimes it's hard for a man to say sorry. But I don't see why. I don't see why either. Yeah, even if she's wrong, so what? You know? <laughs> Even if she's wrong, so what, okay? So what? She's yours, okay? You, you know, uh, Steve, Steve Wonder, he sings that song? 
When a man loves a woman, she can do no wrong. Remember that? Okay. She has her uh, PMS, you know? <laughs> <laughs> she has her woman's side of temperament, okay? You a guy, you can bear stress better. You're tougher, stronger. But she cannot bear stress very well in this world. So you must understand that and give up a little bit. Give in a little bit. It won't hurt you. It will make you feel more like, okay, I'm a gentleman. Yeah, I understand her. I forgive her, tolerate her, and I really make her happy. Okay? That makes you happy. It doesn't matter if you lose your face or what. Who, who is there to see? Only her. She knows your face very well. So you can't lose it. <laughs> yeah? Please. Men are very difficult to swallow the ego and to say sorry, but I don't see. If it's for the woman you love most, then just do it, okay? It won't hurt at all, believe me. After you're doing it for a while, it becomes like a natural thing to just, to just be loving, just love, and everything else you don't look, okay? Because she's a woman and she has to work in the world, and it's very difficult for her to bear all this stress. Yeah? Even though she don't, maybe she don't tell you it's stress, but it just gets to her, you know? We all have stress, but men are more capable to bear stress because, as I told you, no, no, scientifically proven that the more stress a man has, the better he feels. Because he has more of this uh, t- t- terrible, I told you already <laughs> before. And that is bad for the woman because it's not female nature, understand me? It's good for men, but bad for women. So women tend to be always more emotionally on edge than men. So please understand that. And even if she's wrong and you think, even if you think she's wrong, so what? Just between you two. Hmm? What's wrong just to hug her and say, okay, never mind, whatever. Yeah? Yes, even if she's wrong, so what? Yeah? If it makes you happy, just accept it. But she can't be too wrong. She's a good girl. She meditates. She's vegetarian. She's clean and honest. She's faithful and she loves you. Because she loves you, that's why she hates you. <laughs> no, because she expects him to love her the way she loves him. And he's a man, he's a different, a little bit more, you know, like cold, cool. And so she feels hurt. That's, that's why. She still loves you. And if, if, if you drop her, I don't know if any other girl loves you more. You understand? Yeah, so understand this, eh? Yeah, she expects you to love her more, that's why, more affectionate. Even when you don't feel like it, it doesn't hurt just to hug her and pat pat or a kiss and say, I love you again, again and again. It won't cost nothing. It just makes you more happy all the time, I promise. Yes, because she will be happy and then that both of you will be happy, okay? If you love each other, please just do it, okay? Try, try it for a month and you see what difference uh, does it make. Just more hug, more love, talking, that's it. Dovi, lovey, yeah. <laughs> Tell her the things that attract her to you in the beginning. Repeat it. Not now that she's yours already and you don't care. In the beginning you tell her how beautiful she is and how she is so unique and how much you love her and how much you truly miss her if she's away even for a few hours. You know, in the beginning, that's how you love, you attract each other and love each other. Now you forget all these magic words. And she feels lost, you know, she feels maybe he doesn't love me anymore. That's the thing. Insecure, you know? So you have to make her feel always loved, even if sometimes you feel tired, but it doesn't hurt. When you hug her and tell her you love her, you will also feel good afterward, and you will feel less tired, truly like that. Or make her a coffee for two, then you will feel different right away. Don't sink into your problem and forget her, because she is your rescue <laughs> of your problem. If you include her in your problem as well, then you lost everything. You have nowhere to turn. Understand? You have nowhere to find comfort. No comfort zone anymore. Yeah? Make her your comfort zone. Don't hurt it. <laughs> don't, don't ruin it. Yeah? Remember always, if she makes you happy, then you treasure and you try to keep it. Okay? Keep her. Yeah, I'm sorry if I talk too much. Yeah, anything you want to ask me? 
And your side of the story, maybe you tell her so that she knows it. My side of the story is also... Moment, moment, yeah. yes, yes. I understand you, but you have to make her understand I think, you. I think we are really similar. Yes? Yeah, because um, also uh, my point of view from the beginning was that because she's really a workaholic. Workaholic? She works all the time. Okay, okay. And uh, that's so I think I miss the same things as she miss. You also? Yeah. Miss what? Yes. What same thing? What thing that you miss? Like she miss also. More, I I miss also more attention. Ah, and home. Yeah, but I, many time I come home always busy, always oh. computer, always. She work. busy? Yeah. Oh, she yeah. she oh, he also wants the same thing, and you don't give. Yeah. She. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know it. I know it. I know yeah. it. Yes. In this point, she's more man than me. Like in this, from this okay, point okay, of view. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right, man. <laughs> Anna, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, okay, how about you talk together and uh, maybe divide sometimes, like, okay, uh, when I come home, uh, please just, if you can, just stop the computer whenever possible. Or when she come home, you stop whatever you're doing and drop it and just go and welcome her like my dogs. That's why I love my dogs, right? No matter what they do, they're with their favorite bones or with their favorite body. When I'm home, that's it. I'm the only central focus. Do that to each other, okay? Then you'll be very happy, happy, really. Don't think you do it for her. You do it for yourself. Don't think you do it for him. You do it for yourself, okay? Make each other the, the, the comfort zone, okay? So that when you stress out in, outside, you can run into each other's arms and feel loved and feel like, okay, you're safe here. Ne? And you're loved here, no matter what. No matter outside what happened. Here we have a home. You see what I mean? Each other yeah, must work both, yeah? Not just her, not just him. He also want affection, imagine. Yeah, but I can tell something also. Tell me, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I become like a court. <laughs> a church here, my God. Order, order! <laughs> tell me now, sue each other out, tell me. Tell your mama everything. <laughs> okay, Anna. Yeah, because we live at different places. I came f for the Christmas, uh, oh, Christmas holidays. I came to visit his place because uh -huh. to spend the time together. Uh -huh. And uh, when we went out, he was like, uh, when we were walking outside, he was 45 minutes talking to on the phone to oh. with two different friends, you know, and oh. I was, you know, and I was thinking, what am I doing now here in Maribor? Mm -hmm. have, have actually traveled all the way to be with him. And, and then he, to listen to his conversation. He doesn't, he doesn't respect my time, you know, he doesn't oh. have feeling that I'm here. You know, I honestly, I felt, understand. I felt so... I understand. I understand very well. Honey. I just couldn't, I just couldn't understand how, he, how he can do that. 45 minutes, she's watching on the watch. <laughs> Is that really 45 minutes or Even 44 more. and a half? <laughs> Even more? Even more, but I don't okay. want to. Okay, listen. That was Christmas time. Maybe he need to say something to his friend who invites him and he couldn't come because of you. You understand? So at least they only have his voice and you have him. Okay? But next time, if you have to talk with your friends, tell them that you really love them very much and how much you want to spend time with them. But right now, your girlfriend is with you. And if you keep talking longer, she's going to kick you in where it hurts. <laughs> Just make it funny. And they are men, they understand the girlfriend stuff, okay? Make it short. And even if you're talking, you, 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 you know, you hug her and hold her, and now and then you have to kiss her or tell her, I'm, I will be done soon, honey, and all that. Don't, don't make it exclusively just in the phone, okay? Even if you talk, you have to, then you let her know that you remember her all the time. I told you, my dog, Hermit, <sighs> when he, he's a dog, when he was even a puppy already. Of course, puppy, they love to play with everybody and everybody and other dogs. But he played a few minutes and he always returned to my seat and look at me for a while, you know, like, okay, I never forget you. And I say, I go on, go play with them. And then he go play again. But... Even while playing, he always looked back and forth to me all the time. You know, every few seconds he looked back. Every few minutes he looked and looked at me like I am the only one. Even though if he's playing, he enjoys everybody else, I am the only one in his life. 
And throughout his life, he always made it clear. Whatever I want is what he wants. I love that dog forever. I still cry so much, think about him. Even if I look at his picture here, I could not bear that he's gone. Of course, I'm happy he's gone to heaven, but, you know, what kind of dog is that, you know? You know how puppy, he likes to play with other dogs and other humans. He loves them, he enjoys them, but he never forget me. He always make me understand that he plays, but he don't forget me. He always make me feel so loved above everything else. You know, with him, I never doubt that he loves me. Maybe other dogs, of course, they love me too, I know that for sure. But no one gives me that attention that he does. Understand? And he's just a dog, huh? And even when he was dying, he was in such a pain. And he always crawled to me, you know? I said, no, no, stay, I'm coming to you. He always does things that want to please me, even in his painful stage of, 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 you know, last minutes of his life. He could not even go to his bed. He couldn't, you know, the dog bed are very low even, but he could not even crawl inside. He just go next to it and he clutch it with his paw to let me know that, okay, I, I'm here, but I can't come in, but I know you like me here. You understand me? This kind of dog, if we're human, and he does, he always tries to please me, even if he has pain, he doesn't show me that he has pain, even though I know he has pain. He always likes smiling and kissing me and pawing me around like that, just to, to comfort me, even he's in pain, I'm supposed to comfort him, but he worries that I worry, understand me? So it's like that. And I told you, I don't know if I told you or I told anybody else. Ah, I told you, but maybe you were not there yet. One of the tape, maybe I told you about the guy who he is short and <laughs> fat and, you know, brunette. And his wife was tall, like a modern, beautiful, blonde, you know. But they're so happy together, 10 years strong already, and two kids later. And uh, because the, the taxi driver just complained about his wife, you know, why is she, you know, give him hard time. Uh, Maybe she's not happy with him. I say, you have to pay more attention to her because I saw it when you come home, you hug your, your daughter first and you ignore your wife on the side. You know, your wife is number one. Because he asked me who should be number one in his life, his grandmother or his mother, his daughter or his wife. I say, your wife, sorry. <laughs> I say, your wife. Because your grandmother or mother, they already had your grandpa and dad. And your daughter is going to have somebody that she will even forget to pronounce your name soon. She's already 16. Yeah? Soon she will not even know what your name is if she get a boy. And your wife is the only one that stick with you through all the time. After every mother die or the daughter gone out, your wife is the one you have to live with. So you have to be nice to her all the time. She's number one and always have to let her know that. So for example, and he said, how I do this? I, I, I try, but uh, I have no time. I'm a taxi driver. I say, you have time. <laughs> if you have time to hug your daughter, then you have time to hug your wife. Hug your wife first <laughs> and hug your daughter after. Or don't hug even, okay. <laughs> okay, pat her on the head and say, oh, good girl. Yeah, but your wife, you have to hug her long. Or uh, even, you say, oh, come on, I'm tired. I say, you hug her, you, you, you also feel tired. You don't hug her, you also feel tired. So just hug her then, yeah? What's the use? And then when she hugs you back and she loves you, then you maybe you don't feel tired anymore. Huh? Uh, he said, how, how do I do this? And all. I said, you have even five minutes, you come and hug her and tell her you love her. You have two minutes, you do that. Whenever you come home, you have only one minute, two minutes, you do that. If you're tired, you don't want to, but you do that. Because you, she stay home all day and waiting for you. You go outside 12 hours and... Or maybe you go back uh, six hours, but then she's at home all day, you know, she wait for you. You have to let her know that you always love her because you go out there, you're free, but she's at home, she doesn't know what you're doing. Yeah, maybe that's why she's, you know, uh, afraid. Maybe you have another girl or something, who knows, yeah? Because uh, one day I really need him after midnight. <laughs> I was emergency. I told you I don't always know when to go like one week in advance. No, sometimes I know it just half an hour before. So I call him as an emergency. And his wife was jealous, so he was telling me like this. 
I said, because you don't love her enough. If you show more of your love, then she'll be always secure. And she would never think that you have any other woman be- beside. So, uh, uh, so I keep telling him, I say, remember we we'll go out eating together my last day with your, your friend who work in my room, in my house, because I have some people who come and work in my little house, you know, installing this and that, you know. Um, a solar panel and stuff, I couldn't do it, yeah. And I don't have anybody at that time. I was completely alone. But <laughs> to be to be honest with you, I had no assistant, but I had so much luck and so much fun with the with these, uh, you know, uh, working people, you know, <laughs> work by hand laborer. They're so good to me, and they they take care of me like like as if I am their daughter or their mother or their wife, you know. You have to you know, should do this for you. We should do that for you because you're alone here. You know, you might fall down. You don't have a phone. You can't, your phone don't work here, you have to go on the street, you cannot go at that time, what, what if it's raining, it's terrible weather, and you, you're sick and you're not, nobody here. And he insist to install a satellite phone for me. For example, I didn't even know such thing as this. So uh, last day we go out, eat together, you know, just by the way, I didn't even plan it. They finished all my work and uh, I don't, I want to call the taxi, which is their friend, who is their friend, but the, the taxi don't answer. So I go with them, with their working car, filthy, dirty, <laughs> messy car. I don't mind. And we were talking, I, I empty all the fridge and give him some of the vegetarian food. I say, this, you see, look like sausage, but it's pure vegan. You try it, tell your wife to fry it and eat with so- bread or whatever. And this is a, a vegetarian fillet this for the other guy, and that is whatever for the other guy. And I explain to them, and then we had a lot of fun in the car. They have a big car, there are all people in there, and I sit in the front. And then we, and then, uh, we keep calling the, the, the taxi, and he doesn't come, he doesn't answer. So um, I say, okay, never mind, you're near my home now? He said, yes, near your home. I say, okay, let's go there, eat together for one time, and then we call him again. I prefer him because he already knew where my way is, you know, and I trust him. He's safe, you know. He's afraid of his wife, so I know he's safe. <laughs> okay. So we eat, and so I said to him, you remember we eat together there? And there was one guy who was so short and, you know, big stomach and bald here also. And, and his wife was so beautiful, like a model and German. He's Spain, he's Spanish. And you see how happy they are together? He said, yeah, yeah, he's my friend. Ten years already. And two kids, yeah? And also the other kid from the former wife even come stay with them sometimes. And still happy together. I said, do you know why they're happy? He said, no, I don't know why. He's so ugly. <laughs> I said, yeah, yeah, but don't tell him. I say so also. Never mind. But you see, you see, when he was talking to all of us, or to me, or to any woman of the, his friend's wife, or to me even, he always put her hand either on her legs here, or, or on her shoulder, you know, or holding her hand, or sometimes striking her cheeks, you know. Even when that he's talking to me or to anybody, he never forget her. You see that? Huh? What kind of woman who wouldn't like that if you treat your wife like that? You know? It doesn't take more time. He say, you say you don't have time, but you have time. You see the guy, he was talking and eating at the same time and he's still holding hand on his wife for 10 years, of 10 years, you know? So how can you say to me you don't have time? The guy is talking and eating at the same time and holding his wife and striking her cheek at the same time. So, how can you say you don't have time? I say, oh, thank you, thank you. And I tell him more and more of the stuff, you know, and then later on he thanked me very much. He said he would try. I said, don't just thank me, do it. <laughs> if you thank me, then you do it. He said he will, yes. I said, because you love your wife. The way you talk to me about her, even though you're upset about her, I know you love her, that's why you're upset. So you have to make it work, then you will be happy. If you make your wife happy, he say, of course he argue, how can I make my wife happy? My, my, my mother, you know, should be number one. Uh, but whenever I treat my mother nicely, that she's upset. But I say, no, 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 you treat your wife nicely, then your wife will also treat your mother nicely, and she will even push you to come and to treat your mother more nice. Believe me, you try it, because when your wife is happy, the whole family is happy, and then she would treat your daughter also nicely, and everything will be fine. He said, yeah, yeah, it's true. Whenever I make her feel like number one, 
she's sparkling in her eyes and everybody is happy. I said, yeah, I know it. <laughs> he said, how do you know? I said, well, I'm a woman too, you know? That's what it is. Yes. And so anyway, he said, yes, it's true, huh? Whenever she's happy, everybody's happy. And when she's not happy, uh, my mother, my daughter also feel, you know, d- d- you know, very <laughs> low, <laughs> slow, a very kind of, uh, you know, uh, depressed, you know, quiet. You know? <laughs> he said, quiet. Yeah. I say, of course, of course, because you have to put your wife number one, that's why. Because if she's happy, even your mother will be happy, because she will treat your mother nicely. Yes, and we sh- she will cook w- good thing for your daughter, and she will take care, it's even better. But if you don't treat her nicely, even if you treat your mother is nice, nicer, or you treat your daughter nice, nobody will feel nice. <laughs> Believe me. You say, yeah, yeah, I, I, I try that way. I, I noticed sometime like that before. I say, then just do it. If you know it's the right thing, then do it again. Continue that way. If you know what's right, then do it. Very simple. Always love her, always pay attention to her, no matter how many people in the room. Then she knows you love her, and then she never feel jealous with your mother or daughter or any girlfriend, boyfriend, no, nada. And he, he agreed with that. And I just hope he's doing it. I hope next time if I see him again... <laughs> He's become a different man because sometimes he, he looks depressed, you know. <laughs> yes, it's his own making. Huh? Men, are just, uh, they always make excuses. I don't have time. I don't have time. How can I express my love? To- oh, no, I said, don't need time. <laughs> Even, uh, at first he said to me, I- I'm a poor man, you know, I-, I have to take care of my daughter, go to college. I only drive taxi and my wife doesn't work. How I have to... I s- because he says sometimes he buy a little thing for her and she's happy. You know, I say, yeah, of course, he, she's happy. He said, but I'm a poor man. I cannot afford to buy her a better thing or good thing. I said, don't need, don't need. If you really pay attention to her and affectionate to her, you don't even need to s- spend one cent. <laughs> She'll be very happy because she don't need money. She needs your love. He said, yeah, it's true, it's true. She really don't care about money that much whenever I love her. She don't care. She don't ask me how much I earn today. She don't ask for money, nothing. I say, see, there you are. Secret. <laughs> Secret of, of happiness, just to show attention. Always. You don't, have, don't need a lot of money. I told him, don't have to buy. Even if you want to buy things, you don't need to buy expensive things. Even just a small box of chocolate. And the way you surprise her, the way you give it, you know, with affection, with love. She don't need her. If she marry you, a taxi driver, then she knows already that you don't have that much luxury to offer. But at least you have a beautiful house and you have a daughter and she keep your house clean and good. good. You tell her that. Tell her all that. Huh? Okay. So, he got it. So anyway, one time he brought me into his house. And I told you already, but maybe you were not there. I, I knew his wife is already jealous of anybody, you know. So especially me, maybe, uh, you know, exotic girl, 61 years old, you know. <laughs> very, very sissy, special, eh? <laughs> she's very young now, you know, 30 something. I'm just joking, huh? Just joking, but I don't know if she's jealous with me, but I don't want to risk it, you know? So immediately, because I couldn't change my 500 euro for, to give him the money, so he, bring me, he brought me to his house to change it for me. And immediately I saw he come home and hug his daughter, how blah, 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 and his wife just standing there like a useless item. I knew it. So when, <laughs> when we came out, I lectured him a lot. <laughs> I said, that's why you have trouble with the girl, man. <laughs> you ask for it. You make a trouble. It's not her fault. It's your fault. So I lectured him long, you know, half English, half Spanish. So he understood everything. <laughs> uh, so I immediately, when I come in the house, I immediately tell her, Oh, this is a wife that he always tell me about. Oh, you're more beautiful than, than he, he told me. Now, of course, he cannot express, but you're more beautiful than the way he told me. Oh, he really loves your cooking, you know that. He always tell me. And even if I want to invite him to the, to the Chinese restaurant, he always say, no, no, no. My wife cooks so good. I always come home to eat. He didn't say all that, but... <laughs> <laughs> But he said, my wife, I want to go home, eat with my wife. That's what he said. But he didn't say he he cooked or anything like that. And then I look at the house, so sparkling, you know. 
I said, and he also said, "Oh, what a good woman you are! You know, in your house you can even eat from the floor because you keep it so clean." And now I know why. Now I really know why. How old is this floor? You just made it new like last month or something. I know it's not, but <laughs> he said, "No, no, ten years already." I said, "Wow, really? Ten years, and you keep it like just new?" She said, "Just clean it every day, then it's good." And she's very, very happy. <laughs> Not because I told her she's good, but because I told her that her husband told me that she is good. The people uh, don't need so much. Don't need so much to make people happy. Attention and love. No? Yeah, love and attention. I'm sure he never told her that the house is sparkly clean and her food good. Or maybe she said, "Oh, it's good," you know, like that. But he he don't really emphasize that how good she is, you know. So I keep telling all that he should tell. Should tell her. I told it for him, and he was very surprised. <laughs> and, she, and she's happy. And when I go out to taxi, she she see me off all the way to the street. Take her hand of daughter and say, "Let's throw me out." And say, "Come back again, please. Any time is your home. My mi casa is su casa. Come back again all the time." I said, "Yes, yes. I love my God. Such a house I would like to have. You know." But I'm just a tourist. And I just come and go. You know, I, I'm happy you enjoy your house. And then I take some of the things in the car, cakes or something, and give it to them. Lovely. They love me too bit. <laughs> That's just the the husband should tell her like this. You know, yeah. So if he does tell her like that, not the same thing like every day, like a parrot or <laughs> a broken record. But uh, there's always something nice to tell about a woman, you know. Something also nice. Yes, it's very easy. You just tell how you feel. Like today, sometimes you're working, but you saw a woman look like your girlfriend. Then you come home and tell. Her, today I saw somebody look like you, and I oh I miss you so much. I wish I could just throw everything and come back to hug you. Something like that. Don't always have to say that uh, she's beautiful. Or anything. Uh, always something to say. Uh, read a book or something. How to be? A <laughs> yeah, they they write all kind of books. You know how to be romantic. You know how to keep your love forever. <laughs> Both of you read it, not just one. Yeah, surprise. Men also need affection. Surprise. No, but at that time I really didn't have much time. But you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what did I hear? <laughs> but now I have. Now I have. But he's not uh, like he's, okay. He's not okay. No, he now now he, now he has no time. Yeah, he has no time. Oh, okay, then you go to the restaurant and sit there and watch him work <laughs> and hug him now and then in front of all the customers. Uh, let the customer also have a good example how to treat each other at home. Not just give them food, but also an example of a happiness, and happy the couple. Floor, the, the yeah. <laughs> and they clean the floor with the plum hat. <laughs> no. Like one good woman. You, you tell them that. Yeah, it's a good example. It's better than thousand words. You know, people come home and think, oh, maybe I should treat my wife like that. Maybe I should treat my husband like that. And you tell them this is a free of charge. <laughs> it's not included in the menu. <laughs> <laughs> Not included in the dish, yeah. Okay, yeah. You have to be an example, okay, for others. Don't just think of yourself. I need this. I need that. Give it what you need. Give it to him what you need. Okay. Yo, you don't like that, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I should be siding with you, but I'm siding with that lousy guy. <laughs> Your happiness, you do it, and then he will get used to it, and he will do it also. Hmm? You show um, him how. Yeah, but I, you know, to be honest, I feel good on a break. Okay, then break. No, I, I mean, uh, have a so break. I will see how it goes. Yeah, that's it. Don't yeah. don't uh, give the ultimatum. Okay, mm -hmm. just give a break. Just say, okay, we we need a breathing space for a while, yes, and then see how yes, it goes. Okay. Yes. But don't forget, any time you want him. You have to show it quick. Sure. Okay. Don't sure. wait for him to show it because he's an idiot. You know, maybe. I'm sorry. I mean, emotionally, <laughs> men need to learn because I told you already in the retreat. Men are not trained to 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 be too affectionate. If you if they cry, everyone make fun of him. If he show too much like affection to his mother, everybody think he's a sissy, mummy's boy. You see what I mean? 
and in the school and all that. He's so afraid to, to tell his first love because he's so shy. See what I mean? Uh, women are more like mother, you see? Because mother is mostly at home and, and all, the girl always sticking with the mother to learn this, learn that. The mother always teach the girl what to do and things more. So she's more connected with the mother nature, the nature of the mother. And she can express feeling more freely than men. Yes, you know, I was. I had the feeling that I was giving a lot into Understand. this relationship, uh-huh. and I was supporting it. And as soon as I stopped, he just they stopped too. You know, they were, yeah, okay. it stopped. Uh, you spoil him too much, also. That's why. Yeah, yeah I know. It has I to be give and take. Have, okay. Yes, you, I have realized. Okay, that understand. Now. You learn from her what she does. You do the same. Both. Okay. You don't get used to be spoon fed, and then uh, when she stops feeding, you say, "Why? Why don't I get any food today? <laughs> what happened? What happened? You know?" Okay, it 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 can happen like that. It can happen, and what she feels is exactly, she tell you exactly the truth. Yeah, she didn't exaggerate. I understand that very well. Men, they just don't understand it. They don't. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay, you learn your lesson this time, huh? If you don't learn it, you lose her for good. Such beautiful girl, hard to find, talented and working also, eh? Not, no, nah, not the dependent and making a high maintenance for you. Hmm? Hard to find and eh? good practitioners, yeah. Pure at heart, vegetarian. Oh, difficult. If it's not for me, you will never meet her in a million years, no? Nah? If it's not Maybe. for me and a group meditation, he would never have a chance to meet you, no? Nah? Yeah. Thank me, huh? Mm. <laughs> and try to work it out. Mm? Yeah, if you really love her and if she really means something to you, show it, okay? Show it. Let her know it. Don't don't always wait for her to do it. Even if it's easier for you to just sit there and wait. Or it, <laughs> even if it's easier for her to give, you must also learn to get in touch with your, your feminine side, okay? Soft side. And just hang it all out. Love, talk about it, express it. If you hate somebody, tell it to them in their face. <laughs> do like I do. <laughs> and then get criti- criticized. <laughs> because from from the very beginning, it was me who uh, went to him and asked him if... if he wanted to be your boyfriend. Yes, ah. it was not him, you know, so okay. it was only me. Only who knows? Me Maybe he do it quietly and attract you. It's not like that. Did you like her before if she came to you? Yes. I know. I know it. Tell you. I can read mine. No, he loved me, but he didn't uh, do anything. Of course he didn't. Then you should have waited. Okay. Okay, <laughs> that's my mistake then. No, it's not that. But he is too strong. Men, they just uh, cry silently. You see? And maybe he was shy. He didn't know if you're such a beautiful girl and say yes to him or not. So he just keeps safe, you know what I mean? Sometimes they play this safe game forever. And you wait until your teeth all fall out and they never say anything. <laughs> and then they say, sorry, if you're married, and then they should go home cry, cry the heart out, you know? If somebody else got you before him, then he go home cry his hell. But sometimes men are just too, too, too stubborn, you know? Also, they don't know how to express it or they're afraid they play safe, okay? And it's not just you who likes him and run to him. It's because of both attraction and you feel it. And you couldn't bear it, so you just express it, and he bear it. You understand? He put it in his pocket and waiting to see what happened, and then it just happened the way he wanted. (laughs) (laughs) But never mind, now you know he loves you, so no matter who comes first, okay? Sometimes a woman comes first, sometimes men come first, who cares? As long as you're sincere, you know, and want to stay together and happy. Uh, Don't count who first, okay? Hmm. Ay, ay, ay. Anything else? <laughs> it's good now. You just uh, take a break, it's okay. Yeah. But don't, don't sit there and wait who, who no, give no, no. up first, okay? No. It's I'm not, not a race. I'm not that kind of person. Who knows? <laughs> no, no, I really But maybe he I is. Mean. I'm talking to both of you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Men, are, they are so used to with suffering because when they were young, if they cry or if they make noise, some people say, Oh, you big boy, don't cry. You understand? So they used to it, bear it and hold it in their heart. So they used to toughen it up like that. We women are free. We love somebody. We are dying to tell him. You see what I mean? 
And we're not afraid, we're not shy. Mostly we're not, you know. Just try it. If you say no, then it's no. Well, what can we lose? <laughs> yeah? Because if you don't try it, you lose him anyway. You don't have him anyway. So if you try it, and if you say no, then you also don't have him. So what big deal? But men, they so used to with suffering. Understand this? Yeah, I'm trying to. In the family, always, if uh, the girl uh, trouble or anything, she cry out and talk about it. But men, boy, always tell to keep quiet. To, you know, because he's a boy. He cannot cry, he cannot tell his suffering, he cannot express his feeling, because then he's not a tough guy, you know? And then when he goes to school, they gang together, tough guy stuff, you know? And so he's so used to his suffering. If he's, he's in pain, he don't tell. So you, you just got to help him to get in touch with his uh, feminine side. Eh? They suppress the feminine side of men. We both have, women and men have both uh, feminine and masculine side. And we are encouraged to develop more of our feminine side and not the masculine side, which is okay too, you know. And then men are encouraged to develop more of this macho side and not the feminine side. But this is so wrong, so wrong. That's why many relationships suffer, because men are taught to be men and women are taught to be women, you know. Like, you have to let a man chase you stuff, you know. And the men are taught to keep it tough and <laughs> don't show it in case he, it reject you or stuff like that. So it's all nonsense. We are victims here. Okay? We are victims of the wrong doctrination uh, of society. Okay? Tradition and whatever. I'm sorry. Help each other to overcome that. If you're sincere and love each other, just, just look at that and help each other to, to, to fulfill the other side. Okay? Yes, and uh, that will be better like that. Uh, women have less macho side, men have less feminine side, but that doesn't mean they don't have. And we should develop both, you know, even less, but have, instead of just macho. Then you suffer a lot. Many men, they suffer, but nobody ever knows. They don't tell, because they're losing face or ego or being trained not to, understand? They are more victims than women. Feel sorry for them. And love them, okay? If you can, of course. It's, if you if you still find it in your heart <laughs> that you can love him, then you can work together. No, take I love your him. time. Yeah, huh? I love, but I'm not sure. I want to get it deep again. Okay, understand, understand. Because it might hurt. Yeah. Yes, understand. Okay, you can give him one more chance. Tell him that after you you you, you take a break. Take sure. your time. Yeah. Easy on yourself, enjoy your friendship with a girl or go out, gossip, whatever, and then let it be. And after a while, you will know what you want. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Yes. yes. You will know whether the suffering is worthy or not. <laughs> it's worth it yes, or not. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and then also maybe he will know also that he should, uh, uh, how you say, learn more from what, how to do in a relationship or not. Mm -hmm. You know, you both have to learn whether you each other are worthy of each other or if you really still treasure each other's company or not, okay? Thank you very much for your advice. And then you can uh, decide. Eh? No rush, okay? She's still there. She won't run anywhere. And he's in the restaurant. You know where to find him. <laughs> uh. Yes, I tell you what. After we divorce, most people regret Yes, or, or separate. Most people regret when they think about the past, good time together, and compare with the present partner or something, they always feel something missing there, and they always feel regret. Yes. Okay? <laughs> I have so many men, I still miss my husband. <laughs> yeah, look at all this handsome guy. <laughs> yeah, because I'm, I think he's a very good guy. He didn't deserve me to leave him like that. But I know it after four years separation, and he already has another girlfriend, even though he told me, Oh, you come back now. You're my wife. I will tell her. I mean, I tell her to <laughs> say you're not, but uh, I feel sorry for her, you know? What if she really loves him? Mm -hmm. right? And I don't know how much he cares for her, so I already hurt him once. I don't want to hurt him again. What if I come back to him and he realizes that he, he loves the other girl? And you know, and um, it's uh, it's bad. 
So I told him, uh, never mind, you know, uh, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. But uh, one time I talked with uh, another person long after, and he told me I'm stupid. <laughs> I should have come back to him if I wanted to, especially when uh, he also wanted me back. I said, why? Why am I stupid? I, I want to avoid the suffering for the woman and for my ex-husband. He said, no, 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 she was young. She can always easily get another man. Yeah, but he still loves you after all these years. Even if he already has another girl, then it's true love. And you, you still love him after all these years, separation, even though you could have another man the way you look. He, he means I'm beautiful enough to get another man, and I didn't want to. So that means uh, real love. You should have come back to him. I said, oh, sorry, it's too late now. <laughs> too late, yeah. Mm-hmm. For example, I understand. You see what I mean? So yeah. Think real. Understand. Good. I will. I will. Before jumping onto another guy and another girl. Got it? Think real. Real good. Real. <laughs> Otherwise, you feel sorry and you hurt another third person or fourth person, okay? Suppose you're fed up now with each other, but then you go get another girl or you go get another boy, you know? And later you realize, oh, you still love each other, you want to go back. And then you hurt the other two guys. The girl and the boy. Do you understand me? So think real well, okay? Before you decide. Take a break. Take it easy. Okay, thank you. Sorry I messed up um, your marriage, whatever, but I care about you. So I want to let, to tell you what I know, yeah? Maybe what I know is doesn't apply much to your relationship, but you can think about it. If it does any good to you, my advice or not, okay? You can think about it. Sure. Mm. Thank you very much. Yeah. You're welcome. Yes. Any other want to leave? Any others? Huh? <laughs> you okay? Yeah? Okay. <laughs>